next time you uncork that bottle and pour that sparkling wine, just take the time to toast those bubbles. Renee Svodatsa breaks down the methods of making sparkling wines. Did you know that champagne was originally a mistake? The sparkling wine that has driven a culture around the world and even right here in Ontario, where I'm drinking premier sparkling wine at Hinterland Winery. Look how absolutely amazing this is. Can you tell me what makes Hinterland so special? When you make sparkling wine, you need the grapes to be a little less sweet at time of harvest and then have a little bit more acidity. Mm. And for some reason, no matter what the summer we get in Ontario, these grapes are perfect for sparkling wine. What kinds of sparkling wine are you making here? Great question. There's three internationally recognized methods. The first is traditional, which is how champagne is made. The second is the Charmat method, which is synonymous with Prosecco. And the third is the least known ancestral method, the oldest method, and it makes like a lower alcohol, off dry, effervescent bubbly. So today we're discouraging the 2019 Blonde de Blanc. Okay. And so we're loading this machine, which is filled with glycol and water, and it's chilled down to minus 23. And it rotates. And so as we're rotating around, the neck is freezing. I'm not sure you can see that. Yeah, with the with the yeast right there from so the, the process. So the yeast from that we that we've put to the cap is now encapsulated in that. And so if we were just to open it, it would just be a cloudy wine. So we have to get it out. So we're going to put it on this machine here. This is called the disgorging machine. And so we're just going to slide it in like this and pop. And yeah. so when the cap comes out, it shoots out the yeast that's encapsulated in that yeast. Amazing. And then it goes to the next station. This just takes a little bit of wine out mm -hmm. to make room for the dosage. Now the dosage is super important. That is our last opportunity to balance the wine. Yes. So we can put anything we want. Well, not anything we want, but we can put a lot of things. <laughs> Mostly for us, it's just a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sulfur mixed in the same wine. So this gets a little bit of a top up, and then this will open up. Now it's ready to cork. That gives you the cork. And then that machine there gives you the wire hood. And then Jesus here was gonna give a little bit of wash and a mix. So it'll mix the dosage in there as well and give it a clean bottle. We'll let it sit for a little while and then we'll label it ready for sale. Part of the traditional method sparkling wine making process is all about resting. So whether it's 24 or 36 months, this is where the bottles come to rest before they are disgorged, corked, and ready to be drunk. Here we are, the second method. So the first was the traditional where they were bottle fermented and now we are tank fermenting. This it's is the white you. cap, right? Correct, so this is made with Riesling and Vidal. The Riesling's really for the aromatics and the Vidal's for the richness. And I love this. This is a wonderful Charmat method style. It's the same style as Prosecco. And you also really have the difference between in bottle fermentation and in tank fermentation. It also cuts down the time. So this is a fun wine to drink right Great. away. It's excellent value too. It's really good. Yes. This is so much, it's so delicious. Cheers. Cheers. We are on our third style of sparkling wine here at Hinterland, and this is the Method Ancestral. It's a beautiful rosé from Gamay Noir. This is a single fermentation that starts in the tank, is chilled down and bottled, and it's finished fermenting inside of the bottle itself. This makes for a lower alcohol sparkling wine that has just a delightful finish overall. And to be honest, this is one of my favorite sparklings to enjoy on a weeknight. Cheers. Weeknight wine, very good. I've been to Hinterland, went with the family, mm -hmm. absolutely loved it. The amount of space they have to hang out and play and the wine unmatched, it is so good. So It's great. It is beautiful and it's the best mistake ever made, sparkling wine. Now that we understand a little bit more about the process. <laughs> We're gonna start off with a pet nat. Pet nat or petillant naturel is just like that last style that you saw. It's a method ancestral wine okay. where that fermentation is continuous. This is the Poggio Animal. This is the Il Monstro di Reggiana Bianco Pet Nat. It's really funky. Did you hear what she just said? <laughs> you know, Italian is really fun, and That's this is amazing. an Italian Pet Nat. It's okay. a little bit of Pecorino, a little bit of Chardonnay in there, and it's a tad bit funky as well. Yeah. Pet Nats are really, really love on it. trend right now, and they're great with all those entrance items, like this cheesy bread. This woman is trying to stay here forever. She brought me wine and a basket of bread. I did, I did, I did. Because Thank wine you. and a basket of bread is the vibe. Okay. But you get a little bit of funkiness, a little bit of citrus, mm. and it goes with absolutely every mm. starter mm. that you can think of. Mm -hmm. mm. 
And very good. Absolutely delicious. Just lightly sparkling and just easy on the palate. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Very nice. But okay, so now we're going to move down to the main the main course. The main right? event. So for a ham, I am going with the Hinterland Rosé Traditional Method 2019. Nice. Give this a try first, and then I'm going to get you to have a bite. We're going to do a taste okay. and a smell first. This Ooh. is a blend of Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris, done in traditional methods, second fermentation in the bottle, lots of berry notes and briochiness, yes. and it's aged on lees for 30 months, okay. which is really quite cool. On lees, are you going to give I'm us I'm going to uh... tell you that, but I want you to take a taste of this while I tell you. So uh -huh. lees is really cool. Basically, alcohol is made with sugar plus yeast equals alcohol. That's good. Once the alcohol gets high, the yeast dies off and automatically becomes lees. Think of lees like adding character to wine, just like our own hair. Yeah. It's dead the moment it grows out of our head, but we quaff it and color it and cut it to give ourselves character, Ooh. just like the lees in wine. Very cool. And isn't that a fun pairing? That's a great analogy and an incredible pairing. Amazing. Yeah. Continuing on, turkey, we're yes. pairing it with a traditional method wine that's very famous, champagne. Champagne is often thought of as the birthplace of traditional method sparkling. However, that's not true. It's really the place that popularized it the most. Mm. And one of the women behind popularizing it was the Veuve Clicquot or the Widow Clicquot. It never goes out of style. It never goes out of style. You. So this is the La Grande Dame 2015. It is a love letter to Madame Clicquot. It's made from predominantly Pinot Noir. Okay. It's aged 72 months on the lees, which is six years. Wow. And every single vintage, they pair up with a female artist to express the wine that's in the glass. There's lots of tension and elegance here. Yeah. And it's paired with the wonderful pottery designer, Paola Partnetto. And all of these boxes come in like six different colors They're with beautiful. her bottle on the front. And it's made from recycled material, too. You can barely see it because it's tone on tone, I but know. it is beautiful art on there. And that pairing. Isn't it fabulous? It's really good. Just I actually so like Ryoshi it better than that one. This mm. one is good. Like, it works very well together. It's because sparkling wine's very nice, and champagne is the best in yes. my book. Yes. I'm never going to say no to Vuv. I know, right? But I don't want to end off just yet. Dessert. Dessert. Right? So, dessert. We have a sweet ending to the meal. I like to do desserts like a pecan pie yeah, or even me a too. sweet potato pie, but you could do pumpkin as well. Yeah. And you want to go with the sparkling wine that we haven't covered yet, which is Charmat Method. Yeah. Charmat Method is very similar to Prosecco. It's made in that style. Yeah. Where these ones are made in bottle for the first fermentation that gets you the bubbles. Yeah. These bubbles are made in a tank. And this is Lambrusco, another famous Italian Charmat. Give this a try. Yeah. I put it in some really fun glasses as well. So this is the Cadi Medici Reggimilio. This is the Cento. It's a Lambrusco Gasparosa oh, production. Okay. Really, really Just good. keep saying those words. <laughs> Just. The Remigio Cento keep is going. absolutely delightful. Mm. Made from the Lambrusco Gasparosa grape. And give it a try with that pecan pie. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. Oopsie <laughs> daisies. That's okay. Three second rule. Three second rule. Three second rule. <laughs> It's got some sweetness, some berry notes, a little bit of that rhubarb cream. Mm, That's mm, what's mm, pairing mm. with this. Isn't that delightful? It's all been so good. I don't even know where to look. Like, this has been fantastic. Okay, love, love, love these pairings, Renee. You always bring the best, and you got all the information. One lucky winner from the audience is going to go home with a Hinterland gift voucher worth $250. <laughs>